Let's put all the equations and their interconnections together, starting with our understanding of profit and ending with the basic accounting equation. Profit is equal to revenue minus expenses. Retained earnings is equal to profit minus dividends, and we get the profit from the first equation. Equity is equal to owner's capital plus retained earnings, and we get retained earnings from the previous equation. Assets is equal to liabilities plus equity, and equity comes from the previous equation. We can also flip this around, starting from the basic accounting equation and ending with profit. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. How do we calculate equity? Equity is equal to owner's capital plus retained earnings. How do we calculate retained earnings? Retained earnings is equal to profit minus dividends. How do we calculate profit? Profit equals revenue minus expenses. This can also be represented by a flowchart. Flowcharts have some important benefits. First of all, they're easier to visualize and memorize. They provide a guide for analysis of all future problems, and they're a visual representation of a mathematical relationship, which makes it easier for us to understand that relationship. For those reasons, the interconnection of the financial reporting elements is provided as a flowchart. I use this flowchart all the time, and I will be using it in future videos. It can be used not only to solve for unknown numbers, but also to analyze business transactions to record them in the accounting system. Note that you're not required to use the flowchart. The equations are exactly the same and can be used in the same way. The use of the flowchart is a personal decision for every learner, and you should use what you feel comfortable with. We can also show the interconnection by using one mathematical equation. Assets are equal to liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue minus expenses minus dividends. Both the flowchart and the mathematical equation represent what's called the expanded accounting equation. Remember, you can use either the equation or the flowchart. What is key is your understanding of the interconnection between the five financial reporting elements. We will eventually use this concept to build the financial statements. Let's just check our understanding with regards to this flowchart and the definitions, which is what I'm going to do in the upcoming video.